So if you bear, if you turn with me to the book of Psalms. And I thank God uh, for all the testimonies on tonight and for the souls that have come out tonight. I, and we, we started service on time and that's a good thing. And I'm, I'm glad and going into the new year, I hope that that is something that we can continue with and we get back in decency and in order. Amen. So I'll be in the book of Psalms, um, chapter 136. We'll be reading verses 1 through 9 and then 23 through 26. And we know God has been good to us. Amen. God has been truly good to us. I know it might have been trying for some people in this in this in this year that we're we're ushering out. But let's look to the future, look to the hills and put our trust in God. You know, we've lost people along the way, you know, but I know God is able. Amen. We sung all the right songs tonight, all in his hands. God is able. Amen. So in Psalms 136 verses 1 through 9 they read as follow it says oh give thanks unto the Lord for he is good for his mercy endureth forever oh give thanks unto the God of the gods for his mercy endureth forever oh give thanks to the Lord of Lords for his mercy endureth forever to him who alone doeth great wonders for his mercy endureth forever to him that by wisdom made the heavens for his mercy endureth forever to him that stretched out the earth above the waters for his mercy endureth forever to him that made great lights for his mercy endureth forever the sun to rule by day for his mercy endureth forever the moon and stars to rule by night for his mercy endureth forever and verse 23 who remembered us in our lowest state for his mercy endureth forever and has redeemed us for our, from our enemies for his mercy endureth forever. Who giveth food to all flesh for his mercy endureth forever. Oh, give thanks unto the God of heaven for his mercy endureth forever. May the Lord add a blessing to the readers, hearers, and doers of his word. Now we see in this psalms it's a psalm of praise for the lord's past and present blessings but we can add another one in there his future blessings because if he's allowed us another day and he's allowed us another opportunity you know we can expect continued blessings amen in the new year let's expect god to continue to do great things so in the meantime let's give him thanks amen let's be number one we should be giving them thanks because we still here we could have been lost we could have been called into judgment we could have been left with our work undone amen so let's give thanks because he allowed us another year another day another hour another second let's take this time that Christ has given us now when we look at this and, and if you look at all the Psalms it kept saying his mercy endureth forever it's by the grace of God, his mercy, that when we made a mistake, we were able to cor have correction. His mercy is because of the covenant that he made with our forefathers. And he kept his promise. I will always continue to bless thy seed. So we, we understand that we are the seed as well. Even though we grafted in as a Gentile, we still uh, allowed and afforded the same blessing as that was promised to Israel. So in this new year as we usher out this old year let's put all the bad all the isms and all the schisms let's put them behind us we write white every year the clock resets for 12 months 52 weeks however you want to look at it 365 days it resets at, at the stroke of midnight it resets so let's take this time we can't redo what was done in 2018 but let's look ahead to 2019 and say I'm gonna do things different I'm gonna do things better I'm gonna do things according to the Word of God let's leave the past in the past 
Men try to hold us to our past deeds, but God has forgiven us for those deeds. So let's move forward. Let man hold on to whatever it is that he wants to hold on to it. Because if God is forgiving you, that is the only thing that matters. I want you to look at what you were facing this past year. Did it kill you? Did it destroy you? Some might say, well, I felt destroyed. I felt thrown away. But as long as you have breath in your body and you have an opportunity to praise God and you have a way to get on your knees and call on the Lord where no one can interrupt your prayer, he hears you. His mercy endureth forever. If you don't take anything from this, just go out thinking and understanding that God has the final say. His mercy is why I'm able to still be here. His mercy is why I'm standing here. Your feet might have been held to the fire, but that's okay. Because remember the Hebrew boys, when they were in the fire, Christ did what? He didn't pull them out of the fire. He got in there right there with them. And he shielded them from all the pain and all the hurt. So we can look to the hills and we can tell, Lord, I need you. The Lord will tell you, I saw you before you cried out. We have nothing to worry about. So let's take this time. Let's take this time to amend you know, relationships. I ask God all the time, remove any stumbling blocks that's in our way. Bind this house together in unity so that we can go forth and we can edify the body of Christ. A lot of times we look at things, and why is this happening to those? Why is this? Just take your time and go down the checklist. Lord, have I done anything to offend you? Correct. If this is my correction, thank you, Jesus. If this is the what I need to fall back in line, thank you, Jesus, because I'm now reading this Psalms, I know your mercy endureth forever. Your actions can take you out, but if you withstand what the enemy puts in front of you or what he does to you, you have an opportunity to come out and you have a way out. What Christ wants us to do is look and call on him. He wants us to know that we can't do this thing without him. He wants us to know that I need your help at always, Lord. I need you around me all the time, Lord. I need you in front of me, behind me, and beside me, Lord God. Help me out of every situation that I'm faced. Because if you don't, I'm going to make a mistake. I'm going to mess it up. We can't do it how God do it. No matter what we faced in this past year, coming forth in the new year, we can give God thanks because we got a reset now. So let's wipe all of our slates clean. Let's get, let's get everything. Don't forget about what happened happened last year. Forget about what you were facing last year. Let's look. This what, what do we call it? We call it a new year. You know, but when we were born again, we called it a new birth. So we have a new life. So let's take this new life and this mercy that God has given us and allowed us to come over into 2019 and say, thank you, Lord. I made it through. Thank you, Lord, for carrying me through the storm. Thank you, Lord, for being right there with me when no one else was there. Thank you, Lord. And now when I go forward, I'm going to look to you first. I'm not going to look for confirmation from man. I'm not going to look for a thumbs up or a thumb down from man. I'm going to make sure that I'm doing what it is that you would have me to do in the way you would have me to do it. A lot of the things that we face is because of our own doing. We got to get pride out of it. We got to humble ourselves. As in 2 Chronicles 7, 14, it's one of my favorite scriptures. It says, if my people, which are called by my name, they're not called by their name, they're called by my name. So don't tarnish my name. If you're my people, don't kick dirt on my name. You know, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn, turn from their wicked ways. God is trying to tell us, you facing a lot of stuff because of your own doing. Why don't you get out of your own way? Why don't you sit back and let me handle this? Take my directions. My road ain't always smooth, but it's always right. It's always right. Then will they hear from heaven and will I will forgive them. That's what he said. See, what we have to do is get it down in our craw that... I'm in my situation sometimes because of my own doing. Now, if I just sit still and be still, be hands off and watch God do what he's going to do. 
then everything will be all right. And when God brings you out, it's glorious. It's, it's, it, no one can touch it. No one can take it from you. People will say, well, they'll, they'll say, well, you did, you did this and you couldn't do it without my help. Even if you helped me, it was because God made you help me. Even because you had to lift me up, it was because God put it on your heart. You didn't do anything. God sent you my way. What did he tell Israel? I will bless those that bless you and I will have your enemy to bless you. So we have nothing to fear. But he said, and I will forgive their sin and then I will heal their land. There's a healing coming, y'all. There's a feeling coming, y'all. The song says there's a lifting. We got to just look forward to it. Let's be ready to receive what God has for us. We, sit, we can look at situations and say, this is no, this ain't right. Why am I doing this and why am I facing it? Because God's preparing you for something greater. We all, don't look at the situation that you're in. Let's look beyond it. We can ignore every situation that we face and look beyond it and say, there's the finish. God is at the end. That's where God's going to be. I'm going through this mess to get to Jesus. I'm going through this mess so God can fix and heal my land. Everything around you. Do we believe God can touch everything in our lives? He can make it better. Them wayward children. God can bring them in. Them, the problems on the job. God can put them under his feet. Relationships. But we have to be willing to stand still and let God work. The more we try to fix things, the more we try to speak on things, God's, it's not gonna work. God's not gonna fight us. He said, if you wanna handle it, handle it. But if you get out of the way, I'll show you a job complete. I'll show you a finish line that you can get. You can stay here and be dealing with this for years and years and years, and I can take you right to the finish if you let me do the things that I wanna do in your life. So let's take this year, not be lazy. Let's get on our jobs for God, Christ. Let's get on the grind and get out there and do the things that we said we were willing to do. You know, we 20, 30, 40 years in for some people, five years in, and you'd say, well, nothing's really happened, da 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 da, da. But Christ said, if you just be still and you follow the plan that I have for you, watch what'll happen. I believe that this year is gonna be a great year for Emmanuel Temple. Amen. Let's, that's why I, that's why I say all the time, let's get on the same page. Let's get into unity. Let's unify. Let, you see your brother weak, pick him up. Go to your brother or your sister and say, I'm sorry. Let's put, let's bury the hatchet. Let's forget about all that that happened. This is a new year. This is a reset because his mercy has given me a chance to do this again. His mercy is giving me a reset. His mercy is giving me a new year. You're less, you don't know how many Many people died last year in sin but we weren't one of them I said we weren't one of them so we should all be saying thank you Jesus right now so let's give God thanks for a reasonable portion of our health a mind for Christ right now keeping the keeping the the enemy off of our backs you know we don't know what God kept us protected from that that unseen danger that's why I put God before out before anything that I do go before me Lord for that seen and that unseen danger you know thank you for my job for this upcoming year thank you for whatever income I have this year it's because of you Lord it's because you opened up a door and said it was okay for them to to hire me it was you Lord that said it was okay for me to get that job that said man didn't give me anything so at the end of the day we always should say thank you Jesus the psalm says oh give thanks let's give thanks God for everything that we have everything that we already have what he gave to us in the past but most importantly let's give God thanks for the things that he's going to do in our life this is all faith based but if you believe it you can give God some hand clap and right now say thank you Jesus for all that you've done but most importantly I want you to stand to your feet if you have the Holy Ghost thank God for the Holy Ghost right now say thank you Jesus because without the Holy Ghost none of this is possible thank you Jesus because without the Holy Ghost I couldn't stand in the midst of my trial thank you Jesus because without the Holy Ghost I'm not complete thank
Thank you, Jesus. Because without the Holy Ghost, the job could not be done. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God is an awesome God. God is an awesome God. And this year coming forth, let's stand and believe that God is going to see us through every situation. Whatever comes up to us, God is going to give us the tools to get through it. God is going to make a way out of no way. Thank you, Jesus. He can do the impossible, saints. He can do the impossible, saints. So it's important that we hold on to the word of God. We bury it down in our soul. And if you got it down in your soul, then the Lord will, t then the Lord will show you what, where your correction needs to be. It's not my job to sit up here and beat you down because the word will take care of that. But it's my job to just give you whatever God says. And right now, I want to give God thanks for the Holy Ghost. I want to give God thanks for seeing something in me that I didn't know was inside of me. I want to give God thanks for seeing that I'm worthy enough to work in his kingdom we all have a job in the kingdom of God but do you want to work at it let's not let this year be lazy upon us we're not going to go through things the way we did watch them children start coming through them doors watch them spouses start saying I'm going to go to church with you watch them spouses start saying that honey would you pray with me honey would you pray for me put it at the altar leave it at the altar on today and say Lord you handle it because I got no answers for it hallelujah hallelujah let's put these demigods aside let's put all of this distracting stuff aside and say Lord my focus in 2019 is going to be on you amen everything that we have is because of Christ Christ if Christ didn't say yes we wouldn't have it so why not say yes to the Lord? Try him. I dare you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is waiting to bless his people. But he got to get all of this negativity out first. We got to move all this negative stuff out of the way. That's why if we get unified and we turn to our right and turn to our left and say, I forgive you. I'm sorry. We get unified. There ain't nothing the devil can do. The devil can't destroy this house. The devil can't destroy your house. Lord wants to bless you because he wants you to go out and he wants you to tell people the God I serve can do anything. The God I serve kicked in the door. The God I serve kept me from falling. All you got to do is do is with the Holy Ghost. Walk with the Holy Ghost. That's why he left it. Hallelujah. I thank you for it right now. Thank you, Jesus, right now. Let's give him some praise. Let's give him a hand clap. This ain't about none of us. It's about Jesus and the things that he can do. The psalmist recognized everything that God had already done. But I'm saying let's look to the future and count it as done. Let's look ahead. Let's look beyond tomorrow and say, Lord, thank you. I thank you for the prosperity that you have laid out in front of me. I thank you for the continued blessing, Lord. I thank you. Some of those prayer requests that have been out and on the altar for two and three years, God, I know you're going to answer them. I feel it in my soul. I believe you're going to answer it, Lord God, so I can get a little higher in your get a little higher in your word and a little higher and a little higher. I don't want to get too big for what you have for me, Lord. So you prepare me and I'll receive it wholeheartedly. Amen. We thank God for you on tonight. Lord. I just thank God for an opportunity. We have some place that we can come and we can worship and we have some place where we can come and we can get a reset and a rejuvenation from Christ. So if you need to have have a conversation with the Lord right now just come to the altar just come forth and say Lord I need you this is what I have for you this is what I need for you to do right now in the name of Jesus just come forth if you need someone to pray with you just come forth because God will open up a way make a way out of no way I want everyone to leave here tonight laying down with a smile on their face and said Jesus and prayer will fix it amen I'm going home to just pray 
song says, I'm going through, I'm going through. I don't care what the rest of the world decides to do. I made up my mind and I ain't gonna turn around. Why? <laughs> Ain't nobody stopping my shine He try to break me, try to take me out But I got Jesus on my side Cause so bad I thought I would die But ain't no power stronger than the one that came and laid down his life And I got mountains to climb Fear me, can't stop me Cause there's a calling down my life So when I'm crying, don't last too long He gon' step in and make it Lose it again. I'm about to let them know where I'm from. Don't take me there again. I just call on Jesus, my friend. Get me back in line one more time, cause he's always listening. Ain't nobody perfect, everybody's hurting. Need your whisper, Lord, set me from my weaknesses. Cause you're always on time. And the last time I know, I know, I know Won't he do it?
Oh, I let it go. Lord, you brought me through. Now I'm brand new. I said, Have your way. Oh, I'm here to say, Lord, you promised me you would hear my plea. Against all odds, I made the choice to give you my trust. Now I rejoice. You answer my prayers, not a moment too soon. You are I embrace my sins. You Lord, you brought me through. Now I'm brand new. I said, Have your way. Oh, I'm here to say, Lord, you promised me you would hear my plea. Oh, I let it go. Lord, you promised me you would hear my plea. I said, have your way. I'm here to say, Lord, you brought me through. Now I'm brand new. Lord, you brought me through. Now I'm brand new. I said, have your way. I'm here to say, Lord, you brought me through.